I guess we're recording. Well, I hope you're starting out your weekend on a motorcycle after work. Because that's the only way to do it, y'all. Yeah, I'm not wearing the proper gear. But I just jumped on this thing to take off and head home. And have some fun. I don't know about you guys, but this is my stress reliever. And uh, unfortunately, we have no speedo gauge, so you don't know how fast you're going. But I do know how fast. That was close. I do know I'm in fourth gear. And I think I figured this out before. Fourth gear, I think, is right about on with what the speedo is compared to the attack. So I think I'm doing 40 right now. I know fifth gear is plus 10, I think. And then we have sixth gear overdrive, which I think is plus 15, but you know, just go with traffic and no one's gonna say anything, right? can always bring up my speedometer app and then we know no biggie um, but for now we're just going by the seat of our pants boy she sounds good this 1100 V 65 Sabre Whew, careful you have to be deliberate with the shifts This is no th short throw sport bike. This is the 1984 Technological Master. Everything about this bike, it's really not that great in braking. It's not that great in handling, but she does move in most every gear, I'll tell you. She's a blast to ride. I feel like this is the only bike I've shown you this year so far. Simply because uh, I took my one Magna to my dad's house, so I have to go over there to grab it. I'm trying to shut the shop down and move things out as I can. Maybe sell a few here and there and uh, get working and fixed on what needs done so that we can clear that out. We don't have to move a lot when we do have to move. That is the goal, that is the plan. But right now we're riding. And that is the goal and that is the plan. So focus on the thing at hand. Flying alongside traffic. You gotta look ahead. Don't just watch right in front of you. Because that stuff stacks up ahead of you. You can catch that before you have to slam on your brakes. It is super beautiful today. I don't know what the temperature is. But I do know I have over half a tank of gas. And uh, this bike's amazing. So, ride. That's all you gotta do is just ride. This is a good straight line motorcycle. <laughs> it does have a Corbin seat with almost no padding in it. I've said that before. Um, that helps me with my short legs. I can uh, touch on both sides, especially with a passenger on the back. Then I can really straddle the bike. Got to watch all the divots and the holes in the road here. Especially with that no seat padding. That really does a number on your buttocks. 
It hurts. Oh, yeah, I missed that one a little bit. Missed that pothole. We're in Pennsylvania, so there's potholes everywhere. You just got to be prepared for them. That's the hardest thing about riding a motorcycle in the state of Pennsylvania. Avoiding the potholes. It's a blast. Honda reliability. Put gas in it, change the oil. And uh, shaft drive, you should change that rear diff fluid at some point. Have you changed the rear diff fluid in your bike? No. Has it ever been done? You don't know? You should probably do it. It's not a hard thing to do. Throw it up on the center stand, open the drain plug, and drain that crap out of there, dispose of it properly, and then funnel some new stuff in there. You just have to funnel it up to the hole where the bolt goes in. And then uh, you're good for ever. You're good for the next couple hundred years on these glorious Hondas. These old shaft drive motorcycles, they're somewhat bulletproof and lots of fun. Oh, my nose itches. Uh, itchy nose. All right, we don't have to stop and keep it rolling in second gear. There we go. Okay. Shifted the third. I gotta itch my nose again. All right, back on. So we're gonna be hitting traffic here. I'll show you, there's a little S turn up here that if you're going pretty fast, it's fun. Otherwise, it's just kind of boring. But I'll let you guys go after that. Hope there's not too many bugs on my camera lens. I see them on my visor, and actually I didn't clean up my visor after my last ride, so. Rolling on. If you ever come to the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair, it's right up here on the left. That was the Pennsylvania Turnpike we just went over. And uh, yeah, that's the area I live. So, it'll be fun to see you guys get out and ride. And uh, hopefully I see you out there, out here, basically. We gotta go do some uh, back road twisties. Probably not with this bike, but maybe. Mm. Traffic stops up here if anybody turns left or right. I've seen cars go off the road up here. They're not paying attention. They just drive right off the edge of the cliff. I'll show you where. So we have one turn here. People, I don't know. I guess they can usually take this turn. But then for some odd reason, we got this other slight bend. There's a guardrail here, so I guess they could... Okay, we have to stop here. That's cool. For some odd reason, people have trouble with this turn up here. They come around here, and I guess they don't realize they just run right off into the cornfield. I've seen it so many times. Uh, they just don't make this turn. I don't know why, but it happens. All right, guys, that's the the fun of the trip. <laughs> we don't have much more fun after this because there's all kinds of traffic keeping us slow. So thanks for riding with me today. I'm going to go grab some more uh, speed once I get off this road, but I will catch you guys on the next one. Get out and ride, wrench. Oh, no. There's a Sea-Doo for sale. I want it. I want it. I need a I need a jet ski. All right. Uh, anybody have a free one that runs? I could use it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. We have other stuff coming up. Other bike repairs. Other. Uh, I got to work on my vans. All my vans need work, and my Mazda, my Nissan. No, I don't have a Mazda anymore. My Nissan needs work. So I will see you on the next one in those videos. 
and uh, we'll do some more riding videos. So I'll see you then. Till then, shiny side up, get out and ride.